our high school. Thank you for being part of this special evening to honor our longtime principal, teacher, and coach, Mr. Philip Hyman. There are many images of us. There are many images that come to mind when we think of Mr. Meyer. Each of us has had different relationships with him. Perhaps we have known him as a student, as a parent, or a colleague. But there is one fabric that is woven between all of his relationships, and that is his love for the students and faculty of Sacred Heart Catholic School. <laughs> The first time I encountered Mr. Philip Meyer was in 1977, and I was six years old. He was a football coach, and his presence was known. Nine years later, at age 15, I entered the high school, and he was my history teacher and principal. During these times, both in the classroom and outside of the classroom, he was in tune to the needs of his students and interested and not only their academic growth, but their growth as Catholic leaders. 14 years later, in 2000, at age 29, I was hired to work collaboratively with him as the school social worker here at Sacred Heart. Mm -hmm. And now, in 2013, as a parent of a Sacred Heart High School sophomore and a member of the school advisory council, we continue our friendship and we continue to work together for Sacred Heart School. There is no doubt that Mr. Philip Meyer has come to be part of the fabric he so profoundly embraces. Some would say he is Sacred Heart. What I know to be true about this community is that we are here to honor and acknowledge his great contribution to Catholic education and to celebrate all that is good and true in his heart. When I was in school, we used to say, we bleed purple. I would venture to say that he bleeds purple, but I would add, he has a heart of gold. S-M-Q-L-I-B-B. -B. 
which is the Latin prayer of exorcism against Satan. It goes like this. Be gone, Satan. Never tempt me with your vanities. What you offer me is evil. Drink the poison yourself. So why does this matter, and what does this have to do with Mr. Meyer? My answer is, it has everything to do with Mr. Meyer. By the conscious and devout use of the metal, it becomes, as it were, a constant silent prayer and a reminder to us of our dignity as followers of Christ. There is no doubt that anyone who comes in contact with Mr. Meyer, whether it is through a brief encounter or for many years, will ever doubt that his faith is the guiding force in his life.